There will be, in the next generation or so, a pharmacological method of making people love their servitude, and producing dictatorship without tears, so to speak, producing a kind of painless concentration camp for entire societies, so that people will in fact have their liberties taken away from them, but will rather enjoy it. People will come to love their oppression, to adore the technologies that undo their capacities to think. The victim of mind manipulation does not know that he is a victim. To him, the walls of his prison are invisible, and he believes himself to be free. The deepest sin against the human mind is to believe things without evidence. Never have so many been manipulated so much by so few. The surest way to work up a crusade in favor of some good cause is to promise people they will have a chance of maltreating someone. To be able to destroy with good conscience, to be able to behave badly and call your bad behavior righteous indignation, this is the height of psychological luxury, the most delicious of moral treats. It's dark because you are trying too hard. Lightly child, lightly. Learn to do everything lightly. Yes, feel lightly even though you're feeling deeply. Just lightly let things happen and lightly cope with them. So, throw away your baggage and go forward. There are quicksands all about you, sucking at your feet, trying to suck you down into fear and self-pity and despair. That's why you must walk so lightly. Lightly my darling. Facts do not cease to exist because they are ignored. The propagandist's purpose is to make one set of people forget that certain other sets of people are human. Experience is not what happens to you, it's what you do with what happens to you. There is only one corner of the universe you can be certain of improving, and that's your own self. This power elite directly employs several millions of the country's working force in its factories, offices and stores, controls many millions more by lending them the money to buy its products, and, through its ownership of the media of mass communication, influences the thoughts, the feelings and the actions of virtually everybody. To parody the words of W. Churchill, never have so many been manipulated so much by few. The greater part of the population is not very intelligent, dreads responsibility, and desires nothing better than to be told what to do. Provided the rulers do not interfere with its material comforts and its cherished beliefs, it is perfectly happy to let itself be ruled. The real hopeless victims of mental illness are to be found among those who appear to be most normal. Many of them are normal because they are so well adjusted to our mode of existence, because their human voice has been silenced so early in their lives that they do not even struggle or suffer or develop symptoms as the neurotic does. They are normal not in what may be called the absolute sense of the word, they are normal only in relation to a profoundly abnormal society. Love casts out fear, but conversely fear casts out love. And not only love. Fear also casts out intelligence, casts out goodness, casts out all thought of beauty and truth. Higher education is not necessarily a guarantee of higher virtue. Liberty, as we all know, cannot flourish in a country that is permanently on a war footing, or even a near war footing. Permanent crisis justifies permanent control of everybody and everything by the agencies of central government. Life is short and information endless, nobody has time for everything. As political and economic freedom diminishes, sexual freedom tends correspondingly to increase. And the dictator will do well to encourage that freedom. It will help to reconcile his subjects to the servitude which is their fate. Assembled in a crowd, people lose their powers of reasoning and their capacity for moral choice. Liberties are not given, they are taken.
If most of us remain ignorant of ourselves, it is because self-knowledge is painful, and we prefer the pleasures of illusion. The more you know, the more you see. Dictators can always consolidate their tyranny by an appeal to patriotism. People often ask me what the most effective technique is for transforming their life. It is a little embarrassing that after years and years of research and experimentation, I have to say that the best answer is, just be a little kinder. The world is an illusion, but an illusion which we must take seriously. To be a fool at the right time is also an art. Beauty is worse than wine, it intoxicates both the holder and beholder. Medical science is making such remarkable progress that soon none of us will be well. The secret of genius is to carry the spirit of the child into old age, which mean never losing your enthusiasm. Everyone who wants to do good to the human race always ends in universal bullying. Most ignorance is vincible ignorance. We don't know because we don't want to know. Reality cannot be ignored except at a price, and the longer the ignorance is persisted in, the higher and more terrible becomes the price that must be paid. One believes things because one has been conditioned to believe them. Hitler's vast propaganda successes were accomplished with little more than the radio and loudspeaker, and without TV and tape and video recording. Today the art of mind control is in the process of becoming a science. Every ceiling reached becomes a floor. The most valuable of all education is the ability to make yourself do the thing you have to do, when it has to be done, whether you like it or not. Democracy can hardly be expected to flourish in societies where political and economic power is being progressively concentrated and centralized. But the progress of technology has led and is still leading to just such a concentration and centralization of power. Human beings act in a great variety of irrational ways, but all of them seem to be capable, if given a fair chance, of making a reasonable choice in the light of available evidence. Democratic institutions can be made to work only if all concerned do their best to impart knowledge and to encourage rationality. But today, in the world's most powerful democracy, the politicians and the propagandists prefer to make nonsense of democratic procedures by appealing almost exclusively to the ignorance and irrationality of the electors. The more powerful and original the mind, the more it will incline towards the religion of solitude. A really efficient totalitarian state would be one in which the all-powerful executive of political bosses and their army of managers control a population of slaves who do not have to be coerced, because they love their servitude. The goal in life is to discover that you've always been where you were supposed to be. Beware of being too rational. In the country of the insane, the integrated man doesn't become king. He gets lynched. Armaments, universal debt and planned obsolescence, those are the three pillars of Western prosperity. That men do not learn very much from the lessons of history is the most important of all the lessons of history. A childlike man is not a man whose development has been arrested, on the contrary, he is a man who has given himself a chance of continuing to develop long after most adults have muffled themselves in the cocoon of middle-aged habit and convention. Most human beings have an almost infinite capacity for taking things for granted. Technological progress has merely provided us with more efficient means for going backwards. Experience teaches only the teachable. 
We shall be permitted to live on this planet only for as long as we treat all nature with compassion and intelligence. Children are nowhere taught, in any systematic way, to distinguish true from false, or meaningful from meaningless, statements. Why is this so? Because their elders, even in the democratic countries, do not want them to be given this kind of education. After silence, that which comes nearest to expressing the inexpressible is music. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you mad. Man is hypnotized by the glitter of his own gadgetry. If one's different, one's bound to be lonely. Wherever the choice has had to be made between the man of reason and the madman, the world has unhesitatingly followed the madman. Happiness is not achieved by the conscious pursuit of happiness, it is generally the byproduct of other activities. The question of the next generation will not be one of how to liberate the masses, but rather, how to make them love their servitude. An unexciting truth may be eclipsed by a thrilling lie. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.